Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. We're sitting up in my bathroom because I'm actually running a pop pop boat around at the moment. But because I've got the water in the bath, I thought we could have a look at this fella. Uh, Copyright 2009, Prism Art and Design Limited. Caught my eye in the charity shop. Oh, it was a pound, which is a good start. I like things that are a pound. But what caught my eye is it's actually clockwork. It's broken. but it is clockwork and you can see <laughs> it's only got two petals to its um, propeller, two blades to its propeller. But I thought we could try it in the water here while we've got the water here for the other boat. Well, it worked a bit. It's obviously got some issues, hasn't it? I'll wind it up again and we'll have another go. But I thought I'd take it apart because I was rather interested to see how that clockwork actually works. I don't know where the clockwork motor is. So we'll take it apart and have a look. But I'll give it another another go, just see if we can get it to go up and down the bath. Just blew that one out for now. It should have some sort of a cross thing over the back here, that's missing. Oh, that didn't sound very good. No, not very convincing, is it? Yeah, we'll take it apart. Like I say, I just want to know where the actual clockwork is. So why didn't it do that in the water?
it's obviously got some issues. <laughs> yeah, okay, well we'll continue this video downstairs and we'll do a tear down. So we've established it doesn't work very well in the bath but I'm still interested to know how the clockwork motor works or the wind-up motor. Three, four, seven screws around there. I don't think we can get that motor off. There's one screw that's hidden in there. So I think this has got to come off first. It's a shame it performed so badly in the bath. It would have been nice. If you'd seen some of my other videos, I've got a rather nice action man sized rib that I've put a motor on and action man and stick him on the lake and that and he goes quite nicely usually put a camera on there with him so you get an on board video Okay, so a bit of buoyancy aid there. We've got another bit here. Ah, right, that's going to lift off. Right, well, that explains it. I couldn't figure out how we've got a wind-up motor up in there, and we haven't. That's obviously, there'll be a couple of gears in there. I'll take it apart in a second. But come down there, probably another gear there, probably a worm gear. Does that lift out? Oh yes, that just lifts out. So it's a fake outboard motor, really. I suppose potentially, it's not a lot of room there, but you could swap that out and just have a normal electric motor driving that directly, except that's broken. Zoom in a bit more, I suppose.
Oh, let's see, a little train of gears. Turn that one, turns that one, turns that one. That turns that, which turns that. It doesn't look like, it's, like there's any broken teeth or anything. It's just not really man enough for the job, I think. Still, those are some nice gears. If I don't lose them on the floor. Caught it. Yeah, no broken teeth there. No broken teeth there, but obviously broken propeller. I don't have very many propellers for boats. I'll have to have a look on eBay, see if I can pick some up. Because that would be nice to put a nice little propeller on there and get it working. I suspect all it needs is a bit of um, lubrication or something. I think that should just pop out of there. Yeah, no particular reason for it not working. So it sits in there. And that's the one that sits across there and winds it up. zoom out again because I'm probably doing all of this out of camera shot. So yeah, nothing broken huh, apart from the propeller. Two hands, three hands. Yeah, whether it's worth trying to squirt a bit of lubrication in there. That just slots down in there.
just a thought. And it's possible that might be bent. Doesn't look bent, but bearing in mind the propeller's broken, it might have been trodden on and bent. That might have taken it out of alignment a bit. Or I could just squirt some silicon spray in there or something. Yeah, there's nothing nothing obviously wrong with it. Looks like it ought to work. So that's what's inside and that's how that little wind up key winds up the motor which is actually inside. So job done. What did I say it was made by? I don't know if we can see that on the camera but it does actually say copyright 2009 Prism Art and Design Limited. That'll do. I'll put the rest of the screws in later. I've given it a bit of lubrication, sprayed it. Mm, it worked for a bit. Yeah, it's almost there, isn't it? I don't think it's worth worrying about too much because if I've got to replace that propeller, that'll probably make a difference anyway. Yeah, so I can't see anything particularly wrong with it other than it needed a bit of lubrication. Probably could do with a bit more on the other gears as well. Maybe a little bit of grease or something. Uh, very light grey grease. It's almost like it's wearing in, isn't it? Like it's getting better. That might be the lubrication I put in, put on it, working its way around the gears. Still, better than the first look in the bath. Yeah, not a total failure. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases.
you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.